Hello everybody. Okay, we're going to do a, a quick little experiment now with iMachine and uh, Audio Bus. This was just an idea I had. And it was really just me messing around. Uh, I chose iMachine because uh, it's not Audio Bus compatible. You can't even audio copy and paste. And I wanted to see if there was a way I could get um, some beats from my machine into 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 audio bus somehow and, 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 and I was just having a, a mess around so I like iMachine because it sounds great so I'm just going to record a little loop thing so gonna have to do so what we're gonna do first is save this and we're gonna call it free uh, free to use 120 um, BPM uh, 3 okay so that's done we'll close that and now go to export now you can see you can export this to if you've got a, 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 a native instruments machine or something like that you can use that but you know I haven't and I didn't want to use any external equipment so I just wanted to see if I could do it all within the iPad. So we're going to choose iCloud, uh, SoundCloud sorry, um, I'm already connected to my SoundCloud account so I'm going to share that. So it rendered the audio and now it's, it's uploading. Yeah, I'll upload. Another good reason for doing this as well is it, it's it, it's a great way to share ideas uh, with other people who use Audio Bus or, or or any other program. All the stuff that I'm putting up there, beats and stuff, is all for anybody to use. It's all free. Um, you do what you like with it. You can all under Creative Commons license. And I think if somebody else um, wanted to do some work with some other Audio Bus person, then it, this is a really cool way of doing it. So anyway. Audio is now Uncle SoundCloud done. So let's just get rid of that. Let's just close it out completely. And um, go to SoundCloud. No, we don't even need to go to SoundCloud. This, this is the whole point. So what we're going to do now is I'm going to just turn this around. Okay. Hope you can still see that okay. I'm going to... Let's see. Open audio bus. Okay, I'm gonna I'm gonna use Cubase's as a, a, an output to record into for this. Okay, and I'm gonna use input. I'm gonna use where is it? It is here somewhere. It is Cloud DJ. Now you know if if you use Audio Bus, what Cloud D? I won't use any effects. It's too long-winded. I will do this in Audio Bus. Then create a new project. Test loop. Done. Okay, let's get rid of that now. Um, 
and I'm going to set up an audio track which will be already armed I think uh, okay let's go back to cloud DJ okay I'm gonna go and look for the sound test room ah there it is free to use 120 so let's boot that in and um, you can see it's been done with our machine let's just play it shall we okay <laughs> So you get the idea now, what we can do is go to Cubase and let's just, we don't need to worry about the tempo, I think Cubase is automatically set on 120 anyway, but you know, so we'll hit record. Right, okay, I'm going to have to. Because I need to reset that at the beginning. This is a bit of a pain and a bum this is. Okay, let's go back to Cubase. Mm -hmm. And there's what I've just recorded, but I don't, really don't want that, so I'm going to have to uh, erase it. Oh, it's also come up as Cloud DJ automatically. So that's okay. So now. Go back to Cloud DJ. Just move that out of the way. Make sure that this is set at the beginning. Probably easier if I did it like this, actually. I think that's it. Yep, yeah, make sure that's set at the beginning. Open up there uh, and Cubase. Okay. And do the counting. So now stop that. Let's go back to Cubase. Um, stop that. Okay. Let's just close it together a bit. Right, there's the whole thing. Now, the good thing is now we try and remember what tempo it was, but we know it was 120, and Cubase is automatically set on 120. And I think I'd like to get this to loop. So we can just take that there like that. And set our loop markers and see how well this loops. Okay, that's, oh, that's pretty good. So we could paste, now we could copy, uh, set our marker. Sorry, so our time thing there, paste, drop it back. Hopefully, it may, it may loop as one thing now. Without much of a glitchy thing. I mean, you, you could put it into another audio editor and work on it a little bit more if it wasn't absolutely perfect for what you wanted to do. So that's fine. Okay, so what we can do now is we can drop it into Loopy. Now, because it's audio and it's set on 120, let's just go back to there now. Uh, we can take away that now because we don't need it. Um, no, this is what I want to do as well. I'll show you highlights. Um, highlight the segment. 
go to media we can get rid of that half actually so we have this is the, the one we want to loop and we're going to mix down create a mix down and we're going to mix it down to a, to an mp4 or an m4a whatever it means okay and there it is test two and just let's check that's another one test loop so that's what we want yeah so we've got that we've selected it and we can share with audio copy copy audio done um, back to there close that out let's open loopy now and we're gonna for a start off we're just gonna reset this session so there's no clock information hold that on there import I would have thought there it is and there it is and it's recognized it is 120.1 but the very very cool thing now is of course we can slow it down once it renders itself so you can alter, adjust I mean I've got a bit far there so it's going to sound a little bit glitchy but hey you know Loopy's done a pretty good job of pitch shifting that and altering the tempo and time so you can see you could share with other people you could work you could do all sorts of different things you can import from apps as long as you can get it into soundcloud you don't need to go to your computer to download it to email it you can do everything from the ipad really really quickly carry on with the project so say for instance somebody liked one of the beats that i put it there for free they could download it stick it into loopy or cubase you don't have to put it back into loopy it's just a good way of altering the tempo if you've got a, a piece of music that's running at a certain tempo i would say that using loops that run at a similar speed is good but anyway i hope you found that interesting uh, um, i'll probably do some more videos like this anyway i think they're quite good anyway bye guys later